And so now we made it to the final zone, the Scrap Brain Zone. Which probably has the worst name for a level in this game, but it definitely works, I guess, when you consider that Eggman used a lot of scrap metal and used his supposed genius brain to um, put all those little animals inside the robots he created. And of course, they can't do anything about it, because, and they're powerless to stop, um, peck their way out, or claw their way out, or anything. Yeah, we want to make sure that we avoid this one caterpillar first before we move on. But, but of course, there's always another close by. That's the low-hanging electricity. That does worry me a bit. But yeah, it is very difficult to hold on to rings in this stage. I mean, if you thought it was hard enough to hold on to rings in the labyrinth, well... Or shields, well, Scrap Brain takes it to another level. But yeah, there are so many traps in this place. And you can't jump onto those platforms because the fact that when they're spinning, you can't stand on them. You're just gonna fall off. And I'm having difficulty just trying to get on. Yeah, I need this to go my way here. There we go. Yeah, because I was waiting for... Because that platform will keep disappearing and reappearing. I was waiting for it to show up and it never did. Which is weird, because I was expecting it to show up the moment I arrived. In fact, I know, I know of a secret down here. If I allow myself to drop... I can get some rings just to show it off. Sure, they don't even allow me out. Alright, here we go. Going down. Trying not to get hit by anything, but I needed to... Yeah, I, I skipped a step there because I'm supposed to um, stand on this button. I have to wait for the door above me to close before I can continue on. Okay, now this is going to get really frustrating, because you got a time so you can go through, but not get hit by the fireball. And that didn't work out. And there's why. I panicked. The only good thing is that I hit a checkpoint, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, I imagine that you will see me losing quite a lot of lives here. Just because of the difficulty of this place. Because it's just that tough. I mean, yeah, yeah, this is the game that I have the least experience with in the Sonic um, Genesis games, and I keep repeating that, but it is true, and so I do expect to lose a few lives going through here. Just because you have to do pretty much everything perfect. You really have to wait for the time to go in your favor, and then just go. And believe me, you think the first two acts are bad, well believe me, the third one is the worst. But I know of a trick that deals with that and can avoid most of it altogether. But that doesn't mean that I'm not exempt from having to put up with it. So, there we go, we're through Act 1. So once we get to the end of Act 2, there's something I want to show off, I think I mentioned this already, about something that I, I think is in this game, because I know it's in Sonic 2. But first we've got to get through Act 2. So now we're going inside the factory. I'm getting to, yeah, we get to take a ride on these crazy wheels. And make myself a bridge. Ah, I thought I could get over him. And I was worried, like, can I get over him? And no, I... I think I short... I think I slighted myself there. Yeah, look at this. Trust me, it's never... It, the, the original game was the hardest of all the Sonic Genesis games. I mean, that's the reason why I tried to stop myself and I couldn't. Like, th this is probably the one stage where Sonic being fast is a disadvantage. I tried to stop myself again! Yeah, now I have to time it so that the platform is up, and the flamethrower is down. And that has to be done twice. Yeah, they like to pair traps. Of the, they like to pair the same traps in this act. Oh, just made it through. Yeah, this stage is so crazy. Now we got 
Let's spin platforms. Whoa. Yeah, and they'll even throw that at you. Like, they, d they don't mess around with this stage. And it's a good thing that the, the top conveyor belt catches you too. But it doesn't catch me there from getting hit by a saw blade. It'll give Sonic more of a haircut than he was looking for. Ah. Uh, yeah. I didn't practice enough, apparently. I did, I did say I was going to lose some lives, and that's exactly what's going to happen around here. Crap. <laughs> yeah, pop fly. Cause I, yeah, I'd like to try and get up there if I could. Boy. <laughs> yeah. I, I really don't... I really hope I don't lose all my lives in Game Over on Act 2. I mean, I do have some continues, but I would like to prefer not having to burn all my lives and at least finish without having to use a continue. And I don't think I've ever been up here before. I'd like to see what's up here. And I know, this is a bad time to be experimenting, but I, I'm curious. Because I've never been up this way before. At least, to my knowledge, I've never been up this way before. Whoa! Okay, swinging mace ball. Good to know. Yeah, it's just gonna follow me. Crap, I thought I was gonna catch the wheel here. And of course, being greedy, thinking I could position myself in such a way that I wouldn't avoid- that I would avoid the mace, but I end up hitting it anyway. And that, that just was not a smart decision. Okay, we got a shield. I'll take a shield. Oh, let me down. Let me down, please. Thank you. Whoa. Okay, now they got conveyor belts with the swinging mace balls. And I almost jumped into another one of them. Yeah, I'm, ge I'm getting a bit too nervous, I think. What's over here? Pistons? Oh, this is not good. Because I'm worried I'm going to get crushed when I try and go under. Yeah, this is going to be nerve-wracking. And I was right! Yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling like I saw that one coming, unfortunately. But I really want to see if I can actually complete the stage by going up there. Because I'd, li I'd like to think that, yeah, even though I didn't practice that section, I would still like to think that I can complete the act by going up this high road. I mean, experience in Sonic the Hedgehog games in the past has always told me the high road is safer. But I don't know if that necessarily applies to Scrap Brain. Thank you. Gotta watch out for this stuff. Gotta watch out for the shrapnel. And then the swinging mace. Okay, why can't I learn from my mistakes? That That's just not cool. You know what else is not cool? The fact that my stomach is starting to hurt right now. So I better finish this quickly or else I'm going to be regretting it. And I may have to, like, pause the game and go to the washroom before I'm done and I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to Nintendo Capri sun myself when it matters the most here. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just risking life and limb to try and be... Experimental. Ugh. Come on. I can avoid it. I want to avoid that one. Well, in this case, those two. Alright, back over towards here, back where the piston is. I finally made it back here after taking quite a while. Oh, got away with one there. Now I gotta do it again. Got it! Not fast enough because of the low ceiling. Good thing there were rings close by. I I've never actually seen a video where a person has collected 50 rings and been able to... Okay, and hey, there's even an extra life down here, so this actually worked out. I lucked my way into this one. I was thinking bottomless pit, but no, extra life. Oh, now more saw blades. Should've known better, and I didn't. And again, chased by another one of those stray blades. 
I'm I near the end? I think I am, because, yeah, I, I remember this area now, so I'm, I think I've hit the merge point. And it looks like there are actually multiple merge points. Ugh. I'm gonna get over you, but not get burned. Alright, I should be at the end here. Yes, I am. Okay, that's the end of Act 2. Alright. So, there's something that happens in Sonic 2 that I want to try and show off here, but I don't know if it's actually going to happen. Let's see, if it, let's see if I can get this to happen. I need to wait long enough. Come on, Sonic. Do the Mario Party thing. Do the Mario Party 3 thing. Does he really not do it in the original? Okay, I really thought that he does this thing from Mario Party 3 in the original, even though this predates Mario Party 3 by nine years. But yeah, I'm shocked he isn't doing it. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, we come to the end here. We Eggman is protected by a force field, and so he lays a trap for us, and we have to plummet into Scrap Brain Act 3. Which is a recreation of Labyrinth Zone, only way harder. Thankfully, I know a way to avoid most of the problem areas. I need to hit this button to get this platform boom moving, but instead of letting me take it all the way down the bottom, I just get in front of it. So this will allow me to avoid most of the stage. Of course, I still need to get to the end. Alright, now I gotta go. I hope I don't get caught. Good. Oh crap! I don't know if it would have mattered if I just kept on going or not. I think I still would have been hit. Alright. Yeah, I really want to show off this shortcut. Oh, I almost avoided taking the shortcut altogether, and I didn't want to do that. Because, yeah, if you can take this shortcut, you are saving yourself a lot of time and trouble. Really? I already thought that was going down, and I still hit myself into it. Alright, let's hope that I can get through! It begins. I'm not giving up on this. I really want to use this shortcut path. Alright, get through there. Jump out of the water, hit this button to lower the platform. Wow, it's, it's just like I'm a magnet to this trident spike! Ow! Oh, that may have been a mistake! Oh, okay, go through, go through, straight through. Okay, it worked. And I do have a ring in tow. Alright, now I gotta avoid... Alright, now can I... Sure, then I get caught by a spike mace that I wasn't even expecting. Nice! Attempt number four! <laughs> You know, we're just gonna keep it trying. We're just gonna keep on trying. And hopefully I will not poke myself in the eye with a trident. Hey, I didn't poke myself in the eye! Hooray! That doesn't mean that I'm still in danger from getting hit by pretty much everything else in this place. Yeah, I was ready for you this time. But I wasn't ready for you. Oh. Yeah, and I'm a bit worried. Because, yeah, I may have given, made it worse for myself. Alright. I want to take some air here, but... The thing is, here in... Scrap Brain, the, as you can see, this really lags badly. It is just really bad. And I'm pretty sure... If I go up here... This is actually going to get me out of this. But yeah, you can see just how terrible the lag is. Alright. Yeah, get some air before I drown. That's so we don't have to do this all over again. Three, two, come on, thank you. Yeah, now I want to keep going up this way. That's the slow moving maze ball. Oh, hang on. Crap, hang on, hang on. Okay, made it to the end. This is the main exit to the final zone, which is basically the final battle with Eggman. 
and there's not much to it. It's just pretty straightforward. He'll drop two of these chambers. He'll be in one of them. You try and hit him in whichever one he is if it's the one that's close. If he's actually in the one that is closer to you. And I always like staying to the right for some, just to play it safe so I don't get hit by these chambers. And of course you have these four electrical balls that will slowly descend. I always like to stand in the middle to try and um, maximize my jumping distance over them. Just so that I'm not getting myself in trouble because I have killed myself before by being over to the far right. And I didn't leave myself enough room to maneuver. But yeah, lots of room to maneuver this time. So yeah, stay closer to the center. And wow, Eggman's giving me a lot of chances to hit him in a row here. This does not typically happen, but hey, random number generator helping me out, but not that time. Alright, just have to see this to the end. Okay, <laughs> yeah, he finally realizes how serious this, this is, and he's trying to stay away from me. Not this time, though. Run over. Let me get over you. He's on the far end. Morning, man. Where are you? Not in that one. Yeah, he stepped up his game. Yeah, he's definitely stepped up his game. He really wants to draw this out as much as possible. But I think his next hit wins. Well, we won't find out unless I actually hit the guy. Come on. Yeah, he's he's playing hardball now. And meanwhile, I'm trying to show off my balancing skills. While Eggman just laughs at me. Come on. Alright, that wasn't it. At least I finally got a hit on him after waiting for quite a few attempts. There we go. We got him. Well, not officially, because he'll try and escape in his flying machine again, so we just jump on him and beat him off and win the game. And we can't walk any further because there's an invisible plot wall. But in any event, we won the game! And we also got, since we got all the Chaos Symbols, we get to see the best ending. So, the six Chaos Symbols will show off an impressive trick right now. Yeah, floor and fun everywhere! And we won the game. So, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. We, I haven't been able to um, complete more videos yet for Metroid because um, I haven't been able to get back to it because of the map issues I was having. But at least we've been able to beat this now as part of the Elite Six series. And then starting tomorrow, and I don't know if I'll necessarily um, start recording um, the day of because I have things going on right now in Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's War that are taking up more of my time than I was intending them to. But hopefully I'll be able to show off a special video um, within the next few days um, of something that um, I actually had Edie do in A Realm Born, but I have not yet shown Mathia do. So hopefully I'll have an opportunity to show that off. Um, I'll keep you in the dark on what it is for now. But yeah, as far as what's next for the Elite Six series, well hopefully I'll muster up the courage to continue playing uh, Metroid because I need to finish it as part of the series and also on top of that play um, Get started on the new let's play to um, Commemorate the game that I am playing for 1996 because this is the 25th anniversary for the original Sonic the Hedgehog And so the next game we'll feature as part of Elite Six will be in the 20th anniversary um, Year for this particular game that I'll be doing and so, with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. And I look forward to seeing all of you in my next Let's Plays as we continue on with the Elite Six series. And so before we go, just show off that if you did get the bad ending, that Eggman will be stomping up and down in frustration on the end sign. If you didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds, 
the ones that you didn't get will be juggled by Eggman between his two hands, and they'll be a sign that will say, try again. But we got the ending we were looking for, and that's what we needed to order to move on and say thank you to Sonic the Hedgehog for such a wonderful game. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Navarro Autism, saying take care and I'll see you soon. Now I know what everyone is thinking, like, what the heck was I waiting for in Sonic 1 that never happened? Well, I guess it only works in 2, cause yeah, I thought it happened in Scrap Brain Act 2, but apparently it only happens in Sonic 2. Should see it any moment now. Come on, Sonic. Yeah! There it is! Sexy Sonic! Yeah! Woo! Yeah, you are climbing that sexy pose the way that you do it! Yeah, I know that Tails isn't interested all that much, but yeah! Sexy Sonic! Woo!